All right, so here's a quick video on how to remember the suboccipital muscles. Now the suboccipitals are found deep in the posterior neck, inferior to the occipital bone. And there are four muscles here on each side. We have the rectus capitis posterior major, the rectus capitis posterior minor, the obliquus capitis superior, and the obliquus capitis inferior. Now if I may speak for everyone that studies anatomy, these names are terrible, but I'm gonna show you how to remember all these muscles and especially their origins and insertions. Now for a little study strategy, what I want you to do is get a piece of paper and a pen, and to start off with, I want you to draw three happy little lines. So these lines represent the three levels that these muscles are found on. The most superior line represents the most superior attachment point, which is the occiput. Then we have C1 in the middle, and then C2. So for our first muscle, we have the obliquus capitis inferior, and that goes from the spinous process of C2, and we know the spinous process is basically in the middle, so it goes from the spinous process of C2 up to the transverse process of C1. And we know the transverse process, of course, are on the lateral sides. Our next muscle is the obliquus capitis superior, and that goes from the transverse process of C1 up to the occiput, like so. Now we have the rectus capitis posterior major, and that goes from the spinous process of C2 up to the occiput as well, and basically makes a little triangle. And our last muscle is the rectus capitis posterior minor, which goes from the posterior tubercle of C1, which is basically a rudimentary spinous process right in the middle here, up to the occiput as well. So these four lines represent basically the layout of the suboccipital muscles, and you can do, of course, the same thing for both sides. So up here, like this, and that basically shows you both sides of the suboccipital muscles. And what I want you to do is just draw this out a few times. It can be real fast. You know, you can go bump, 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 bump. And just do that. You know, spend two, three minutes drawing that out and you'll be able to kind of, with motor memory and visual aids, you'll be able to remember that real easily. Now, of course, the question is, how do I know which uh, muscle is which? So what you can do with the trick here is that, think about the obliquus muscles with the O and obliquus, reminds you that these muscles are on the outside of the muscle group. So they're on the outside of this muscle group, so this one is on the outside, this one, this one, and this one. So these are all obliquus muscles. The inferior one, the one that's below, of course, is the obliquus capitis inferior, right there. And this is superior, so this is the obliquus capitis superior. Now the rectus capitis posterior major, you can think of it as making major moves because it's going up two levels instead of all the other muscles are only going up one. So this would be the major right here. And then the minor, the rectus capitis posterior minor, Think of it like a minor, like a child or like a little baby. It's being cradled and nestled in the middle, kind of protected. And so this is the rectus capitis posterior minor right here, right there and right there. All right, so just spend a few minutes drawing this out over and over again until you kind of get that motor pattern going. And of course, in the future, you'll be able to recall all this information real quick. All right, so I hope it helped you out. As always, thanks for watching. And of course, good luck on your next test.